Weather Authority local forecast. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying your Friday's Eve. We're getting close to the holiday weekend. All right, let's take a look at your RV World Yuma Sky Cam. we got the bright lights of the city of Yuma and, yeah, some cloud coverage out and about as well. So not too different than what we've been experiencing the last 48 hours or so. Now, beyond this particular vantage point, as far as the satellite radar is concerned, you see the greens beginning to invade a little bit over in Southern California, stretching over into areas of northwest Arizona, even the Las Vegas area as well. And you would think it's starting to pop up a little bit in the desert southwest. But again, that's just radar interference. So we're really not getting any sort of rain coverage in our area at this particular time. We're not expecting it either for that matter. You can see we're pretty much in the high end 50s, low end 60s over in the Imperial Valley. On the Yuma side of the desert southwest, we're uh, pretty much in the same spectrum as well. So again, just a different night. Similar results because of a certain weather element we'll talk about in just moments. But uh, for this evening, we have the continuation of uh, more wet weather up in the Pacific Northwest and in some cases some higher elevated snow. But it's pretty much confined in that particular area. The reason being is, well, high pressure. This continues to be our main source of weather, the, the main player, as you will, in our particular realm. As you can see, this thing continues to stick around. Just getting pushed around a little bit, but nonetheless, it's persistent and it's going to keep us uh, milder than normal uh, for the foreseeable future. And of course, the winds certainly uh, going to have their way with us at least a little bit for your Friday, even on into the Saturday portion of the holiday weekend forthcoming. So we're not talking about wind advisories or anything like that, but we could have gust up to 20 miles an hour when it's all said and done. 59 degrees by 8 a.m. And then as we get on into the mid-afternoon, we'll uh, kind of check in in the low in 70s, if not the middle 70s, in some cases even the higher 70s before we uh, dial those temperatures down a few notches as we get on into the evening time. Your air quality index brought to you by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Say that five times fast. You can see that we have, for the most part, good air quality, including the Yuma area. Speaking of Yuma, here's a look at your extended forecast, your Yuma International Airport extended forecast. You can see as we get into Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s weekend, you can see that we are going to continue to get those temperatures in the 70s, although we're going to kind of scale it back a little bit because we'll go high 70s and then Saturday the low 70s, and we should keep it uh, relatively even, Stephen, through and through, and then by MLK Day itself, we'll be in the low 70s before we start to get a little bit of a rise as we get on through the rest of your forecast. 